Korea logged yet another corona count surplus in March and is poised to set a new record for month-on-month -month surpluses. It's reason enough to pop the bubblies, but apparently it's not. It's mainly due to slowing imports, suggesting domestic consumption is drying up. Our Kim Min-ji helps us look beyond the numbers. Korea posted a current account surplus for the 37th straight month in March. The Bank of Korea says preliminary data shows the surplus hit almost 10.4 billion U.S. dollars, up nearly 42 percent from the same month last year. The figure marks the highest level since a record 11.3 billion surplus in November 2014. At this rate, Korea is likely to break its previous record surplus streak of 38 months, which started back in June 1986. The balance of goods rose to over $11 billion last month, up from about $7.3 billion in February, as imports shrank at a faster rate than exports. Exports fell 8.4 percent to nearly $50 billion, while imports plunged almost 17 percent to about $38 billion. It did slow from last year, but falling exports coupled with a drop in imports points to a surplus trend that mainly stems from sluggish domestic demand. The decline in both exports and imports will likely continue for some time. Although the export volume hasn't fallen that much, export prices have dropped significantly. Imports have also slumped due to a decline in raw material prices and slowing domestic consumption. The experts said that while Korea will probably hit the central bank's $96 billion current account surplus target for this year, it doesn't indicate an improving economy. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.